In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to figure out hotel star ratings. You ready? Let's go. Welcome, I'm Malachi Simmons Jr. and this is Hotel Soldier, with a mission to provide you all things hotel to your front lines. On this channel, I give you three eyes with information, instructions, and interviews. Information on all things in the hotel industry, instructions on various tasks in the hotel industry, and interviews with individuals associated with the hotel industry. Now, if you're new to Hotel Soldier and you want to see this video and other videos like this video, hit on the red subscribe button at the bottom along with the notification bell for Hotel Soldier. So hotel star rating is basically a class or category hotels put in due to the amenities and the services it provides. Now this star rating is usually gathered through research done on the property. Now the star rating goes from a 1 to a 5. Now the 5 being the highest of the tier and 1 be the lower end of the tier. Sort of like a lacquer scale. Basically the 5 is an excellent luxury hotel. 4 is a good premium hotel. 3 your average hotel. Two, your fair hotel, and one, the lower end of the scale. Now, in this video, I'm gonna break it down from one and a half star hotel to two star hotel, two and a half star hotel to three star hotel, three and a half star hotel to four star hotel, and four and a half star hotel to five star hotel. Because there might be one amenity or service that changes, that pushes that hotel from a half to a whole. So, let's begin with a one and a half star hotel two-star hotel. So I'm here inside your one-and-a-half star, two-star hotels. Now the only difference might be between a one-and-a-half star hotel and a two-star hotel might be the service or the amenities. And you gotta remember, the more service you have and the more amenity you have, the price go up. Your rate get higher. Because you're paying for that service or you're paying for that amenity. Now in that one-and-a-half star hotel, you may not have a washer. You may not have a dryer. You may not have a gym. You may not have breakfast. But in your two-star hotel, you may still not have a washer. You may still not have a dryer. You may still not have a gym. But you may have some breakfast. Something that you can eat. Might not hot. But something you can grab and go eat on the way. You may also have a, a meet room inside that two-star hotel or, or maybe a pool. But there's always some of those small amenities that that one and a half star hotel doesn't have. But that two-star hotel does have real small. And like once again, as I say that, the price change due to the add-on service or the add-on humidity. Now, in this one and a half star, two-house star hotel, got a bed, queen size bed. Nice. Like just like any other queen size bed in any hotel. Because queen size, king size hotel are the same size in any hotel. Let's take a look at the bathroom inside this one and a half star hotel, two star hotel. I'm here inside the bathroom of this one and a half star, two star hotel. Look as similar as any other one and a half star, two star hotels. Matter of fact, look similar as some five star, four star, three star hotels I've stayed in before. Let's go take a look at a two and a half star, three star hotel. I'm here inside one of your two and a half star, three star hotels. Now, if you come in a property that's two and a half star, three star hotel, you'll find yourself a washer and a dryer, maybe a gym, a pool, meeting room space. You may even go outside and find yourself a valet, but that's not as common inside your two and a half star, three star hotel. If they do have valet, because the location of the hotel dictates that they have valet. Now, in the breakfast, 
and a two and a half star hotel. Maybe a little small grab and go and you take it and eat and leave. You may have some every once in a while have a hot breakfast as well. Now your three star hotel, if they do have breakfast, more likely it is a hot breakfast inside your three star hotel because this is an average hotel. Because the one main thing like I point out earlier is that you're paying for the services and the amenities that it provides. Now, from previous, we took a look at the bathroom inside the one and a half star hotel, the two star hotel. Now, let's take a look at the bathroom inside this two and a half star hotel, three star hotel. It's uh, right here. Let's take a look, come on. Now I'm here inside the bathroom of this two and a half star, three star hotel. Now the bathroom really doesn't look any different from the one and a half star, two star bathroom. It has a tub, toilet, sink, a, a mirror. The main idea I'm trying to point out is that you're paying for the amenities and the services. That increases the cost of your stay, that increases your rate. So let's go take a look at a three and a half star, four star hotel. Now I'm here inside one of your three and a half star, four star hotels. Now, just like your two and a half star, three star hotel, you may find a washing machine and dryer somewhere on the premises. Also, you may find a gym, a pool, meeting room spaces, and you must also find some valet, depends on the location hotel. Also, outlet stores. It actually might be inside the hotel itself. Now, once you get to that four star region, you're talking about no washing machine or dryers because they got larger services. And also, when you talk about the dining and breakfast, you may have a chef or even a restaurant on the premises. You might still have the gym, pool, meeting room spaces, and valet. And you may have the outlet stores as well too. Now, you also may have executive lounges or clubs. Because now, you went from that three-star region, which is an average hotel, to a four-star region, which is your premium hotels, your nice hotels. And it's always something to dictate that one from the other because you're paying for the extra humidity or you're paying for the extra service that one has versus the other one doesn't have. Now also the weird thing is you may walk into the room and say, where is the microwave? Well, using the four-star hotels, you probably won't have a microwave because they have a restaurant on the premises. No need to have a microwave. You may have a cooler or some type of refrigerator in the room and that's about it. So let's take a look at the bathroom at this three and a half star, four star hotel. We already took a look at all the other bathrooms. We looked at the bathroom at the one and a half star, two star hotel. We already took a look at the bathroom at the two and a half star hotel, the three star hotel. Now let's take a look at the bathroom at the three and a half star, the four star hotel. Let's see what the difference is. Come on, let's take a look at this one. Now I'm here inside one of your three and a half star, four star hotel. Now, looking at it, it don't look any different from your one and a half star two star hotel or your two and a half star three star hotel. Still got the mirror, and a sink, a glasses over here and some towels, a tub on the side. Now, your one and a half star two star hotel and your two and a half star three star hotel and your three and a half star four star hotel, the one thing that's different is the amenity and the service that you pay at the hotel. That increases your rate. That increases how much you pay for your stay. So now let's take a look at one of those four and a half star, five star hotels. So I'm here in one of your four and a half star, five star hotels. In the room, it's pretty big. You got your L shaped couch, working desk, table for eating, kitchen area, big flat screen TV, and the room is actually on the other side. Now, just like you walk into a four-star hotel, you probably will not find a washing machine and dryer on the premises because they probably have larger services. You probably have restaurants, pools, spas, valet services, meeting rooms, outlet stores, 24-hour day room service, Zeckler Lounge or the club. And just like I pointed out earlier on the four-star hotel, you probably walk in a hotel with a microwave and you probably won't find a microwave in a five-star either because they have restaurants on the hotel. Now, once again, you pay for the services and amenities during your stay. That increases your prices, that increases your rate. Hmm, pretty big room. And those were the differences of your hotel star ratings. Now, a hotel star rating is basically a category or class of hotels put in 
based upon the amenities and services you provide, range from 1 to 5. Now make sure to click the like button and leave a comment. And if you want to see this video or other videos like this video, click on the red subscribe button at the bottom along with the notification bell for Hotel Soldier, where the mission to buy you all things hotel to your front lines.